The other reason why I believe God is interested in 100% of what we own is because he teaches us to save for our future generations. The Bible says, a good man, Proverbs 13, 22, the first portion of it, a good man, and a man here is not just talking about a man in terms of gender, but man in terms of spirit, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Do you know that God is a God of generations? I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Don't think it was just being said because it's a wonderful statement. Spiritually, it sounds very sound. I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Sounds very nice. God is simply saying, I'm not just the God of Abraham. After Abraham, there's Isaac, and after Isaac, there's Jacob. So what it says is, our God thinks generationally. The things we are doing must be taking care of three generations. Us, the next one, and the other one. So what are we saying, friends? We are saying that God teaches us how to even create, you know, cross-generational wealth. If he wasn't interested, then he would never bother with us. He would just tell us, okay, you give me my 10%, you can go and do whatever you want with whatever else. He wants you to do the right thing.